Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the mission in the next episode. Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit of Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you. My ongoing monthly series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash mnjtv, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. This is the first video I'm recording from my new office. I know, it looks basically the same, but I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited for you to subscribe, and I'm excited for the memes. So let's dive in. All right, r slash MNJTV sorted by top in the past month as I do. This top post, come on man, if you had a guard of, oh. Hey Purple Cliff, why did you get banned for posting Gardevoir? Put, the, put this away. <laughs> give Eevee a Waterstone, Vaporeon. Give Eevee a Thunderstone, Jolteon. Give Eevee a Firestone, Flareon. Give Eevee money to support their creative endeavors, Patreon. I've been hearing this joke for years. Mikey should really open one, I'd be happy to donate. Well, you'll be happy to know I do have one. Links in the description below. <laughs> Why is a sand castle faster than a horse? It's sand that's quick. <laughs> Wait, is it really? Palace sand has a speed of 35. Class trier is 30. This feels illegal. Bug types suck. Why is Shuckle the biggest one? Like, don't get me wrong, Shuckle can Pull off some crazy stuff twice. Many years ago, I swept an online battle using my Shuckle after they took down my first two Pokemon. But like, the biggest pile? When Scizor exists? Is this the same meme twice? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> it's the same meme format, just as something else. Pokemon is for kids. Okay, well, Lusa means crazy jellyfish. All those various dark Pokemon, AZ, Malo's mom, the evil team leaders that just want to kill everyone. First of all, we did not create Pokemon for kids. Oh! Ooh, we're no strangers to love. I just got, I just got Rick rolled by a bunch of unknown. I mean, it's a good way to get Rick rolled. Ha ha, it is I, Grunty Boy, and I am here to steal your money. Uh, wow. How oddly straightforward of you. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of online shopping lately and my Team Rocket salary, it's uh, well, it's not really keeping up. So let's get on with this, hand it over, you know the thing. Uh, no, sorry man, but I'm not afraid of you and that is necessary for me to comply with your demands. Oh, that is incredibly rude and fair. Oh, fine, what do I do then? How about instead of stealing money, you try out Karma, the sponsor of this video. It's an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Hmm, okay, I'm intrigued, but it has to be easy to use. Otherwise, just stealing money is a lot easier. Oh, it's super easy to use. Simply install it using my link in the description below and you're immediately set to go. You can visit any of your favorite stores and start shopping. It hovers over on the right and just needs a simple click. You can save products and set Karma to notify you with an email or push notification as soon as there's a price drop or coupon code. Like how I saved this SD card for my Switch. You can organize your saved products into various lists as well. Like this list of Nintendo Switch accessories I made because someone keeps stealing mine. Oh, weird. Wonder who that could be. Anyways, Karma sounds really nice though, but what if there's something that I need ASAP? So let's say, hypothetically, I need an industrial sized tub of butter for a scheme this weekend, but I can't wait for it to go on sale. Why do you need a giant tub of- I said hypothetically. All right, fine. Karma will also autofill coupons for you to ensure you get the best deal at that time of purchase. I saved 10% on this t-shirt that I would not have if not for Karma. This is a special feature for computers making the Chrome extension a must. Also, when you shop from select retailers, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. Wow, that sounds amazing. Aside from the good cause part, I much prefer bad causes. How do I get it? It's simple to install the Chrome extension by clicking my link in the description below. Excellent, I will begin my shopping adventure. Buttertub, here I come. Ta-ta. Oh, ugh. Anyways, thanks so much to Karma for sponsoring this video. Be sure to download the extension using my link in the description below. But now, back to the video. 
Forget about Zodiac sign. What mythical Pokemon did you get? November, Mars Shadow. Let's go! Yes! See? The best one! When three Magnemite link together to become Magneton, their brains also combine, but they don't get any smarter. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the best one I've seen so far. You get an upvote. That's really funny. Flirting with a man at a bar. Hey, let me see your phone. I'll put my number in. Aha, uh -huh, sure. Transfers his entire Pokemon Go team to myself and their team rocket. This would be funny if it was possible. I'm such a giant Pokemon nerd <laughs> that I'm like, oh, this isn't funny because you can't just transfer Pokemon to another person. You have to trade. <laughs> a week and a half? That's it? Wow. Oh, no, bad dog. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Its genes are in easily influenced by its surroundings. Even its face starts to look like that of its train. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Eevee should not do that. Or after, before, after, before, after. They did all get softer and fluffier. Well, I mean, Growlithe got a little horn on its head that you shouldn't break off. But yeah, for Gallag... <laughs> Oh, uh, why, why did they make, how did they not see it when they made that back sprite? Just how? For those of you who are not aware, I'm gonna enlighten you. It's the, it's the gen three back sprite, see? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like spikes or whatever, but he got cheeks. As a side note, I would like to point out that far and away the coolest for alligator friend sprite is the silver one. That looks so dope. Aha! A sexolotl comic. Why'd it have to be half bug type? Is he afraid of bug types? Ah, <laughs> look at that! I'd never be scared of something as pathetic as bug types. Oh God, not a rock! <laughs> you smell that? Exactly. That's the smell of the sky. You know, something else about the sky is... A Giovanni kicked me out! <laughs> oh God, that's such a good end drawing. Oh! Oh, it's a comic of me as the dark type gym leader on my plays channel. You guys should subscribe to MNJTV plays as a reminder, Pokemon stuff and Minecraft stuff if you like that. But if you don't, there's still Pokemon stuff. Anyways, this is my character as the dark type gym leader in Kalos. Asriel, use faint attack. Asriel, use faint attack. He was super effective, Asriel fainted. Oh, Arcus, I gave up a legendary for this? <laughs> so accurate. <laughs> We've been following him for years. And we can't steal anything from him. How do you do it? It's Grunty Boy. Have you tried getting sponsored? <laughs> Saxolotl's drawings are so good. Just the like, just like the like the facial expressions and poses oftentimes are just so much, like they're better than even the words. Prepare for Chavo doing something surprising. To protect your day, <laughs> make it double, we're advertising. <laughs> To protect your data from devastation, to change your device to any location. <laughs> oh my god, these are so good. Guys, I need help. I can't, I died. I'm trying. Man, this is unfair. How do we keep losing? Now, children, this game just takes time to master. And of course, time is money. <laughs> I haven't played uh I haven't played Pokemon Unite, but I am tickled by this. I love the DuckTales reference. Alright, Saxolotl. Killing it as always. What do you mean you're here to rescue us? You're just a kid. Yeah, really overpowered one. Tell me a Pokemon to draw. I'm bored. Just not any- <laughs> Hell yeah, it took me more than a year. Now that is dedication. Congratulations. I'm sorry you suffered so much. Game Freak, Pokemon Dads. <laughs> well, most of them. <laughs> Norman, we got Norman. Ask me anything about Zacian and or Zamazenta, then edit your comment to make me look bad. Which instrument should the physician use during my uncle's heart surgery? Sword. <laughs> Different elements produce different colored fireworks. Copper, sodium, barium, magnesium, titanium, aluminum, electrode. <laughs> Strontium, good. Twinkle Tackle has one of the stupidest animations on the planet. I mean, but it's got a great name. I don't feel like I've seen the animation in a while. Zooming around the sparkles. Hello, hello, hello. It's so silly. The graphics look awful. Oh yeah, the, the, so, like r slash gaming, people were like going crazy about how terrible the graphics of Legends Arceus look. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I think it looks dope. Like who cares about like the exact trees? I don't know, people are annoying. Um, the graphics look awful, they want to make evolutions. Quit having fun, I will not quit having fun. That's right, think the game's gonna be fun? 
We're gonna have fun. Even with my level 93 Torterra for my first platinum run, I'm in danger. Oh yes, you are. <laughs> Even your Toga Kiss is in danger if it's level 93. Pokemon with Metronome and Nuzlocks? I am fluent in over 6 million forms of kicking your ass. <laughs> Normal Charizard should be Dragon type. People who know Dragon type as a starter would be dumb as it would resist all the elements. Uh, yeah, precisely. Like. You, you can't have a dragon type starter. I mean, I guess they do it with like, I guess Sceptile and Mega Charizard X, but those aren't permanent. So like in the non-Megas, you cannot have a dragon type starter unless the type that's supposed to be strong against it gains a secondary typing that is super effective. So for example, Empoleon gains steel, which means it's no longer weak to grass, but Torterra gains ground. Uh, yeah, a stab super effective type against Empoleon. So a dragon starter would work, but the starter that was strong against it before it gained dragon would have to gain as a secondary typing fairy or ice. And both of those, like it doesn't work with fire. So like a fire dragon, it doesn't work because fairy and ice fire resists both of those. Um, So you can never have a fire dragon starter unless <laughs> they're all dragon type which I think they should do. I came up with something like that when I was a kid. All starters end up dragon type. Wouldn't that be dope? Balanced? Who cares? By the time they're dragon type, you're gonna have a full team of six. You know, like just do it, do it. Describe your day, Rowlet. I would say uh, so far, uh, I've been having a, I would say I'd be six. He just looks a little bit like, whoa. It's been a busy day. I've had work to do. So six is mine. A fluffy Oshawott, how cute. I love it. Not sure who made this. I would assume it was Digital Mon. Without a Dreepy to place on his head and care for, it gets so uneasy. It'll try to substitute any Pokemon it finds for the missing Dreepy. Oh, that's cute. Choose two to defend you and the rest will kill you. Ooh, all right, let's do this. Pokemon 7 made a great video a little while ago where he asked other Pokemon creators, including myself, to do this same thing, but with a different group of Pokemon. And in that video, Purple Cliff makes a shockingly effective argument for using 20,000 Sunkerns, because 10,000 Sunkerns was an option. And I feel like I might have to go with that. Like, yeah, Cutie Fly is very weak, but 10,000 up to 20,000, is a lot, plus of the Pokemon here, two of them, I guess seven of them, the five Kama O's and the two Hydreigons, which side note, why does Hydreigon only get two and Kama O gets five? They're both four times weak to fairy, and then Fracture and Throw are also weak to fairy. The Corvus Squires might be kind of tough, and so would the Gigaliths, but like, I can make a very compelling argument. I feel like I gotta go with 20,000 Cutie Fly. Also, Cutie Fly, has a substantially higher base stat total than Sunkern. 304. Sunkern is 180. Like, that's a big difference. Plus, Cutie Fly can fly, so they could get out of the range of a lot of attacks. Like I said, Corvus Squire would be tough, but if enough Cutie Fly surrounds them, they could weigh them down, crash them into the ground. They're like some, yes, some Cutie Fly would die. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. I got tired of waiting for it to be revealed, so I'm in my own blue stripe Basque Legion. Very cool. I think there's a good chance we get that. Alternatively, maybe blue stripe could evolve into something else, but like, or there's only red stripe. But that looks dope. Mikey, it wouldn't make sense for Komi to evolve into a wasp. Remoraid who evolves into an octopus. <laughs> okay, you got me there. I drew art for Legends Arceus. That, oh, <clears throat> Ah, cool. That's super cool, I love that. Girls, I can't believe you didn't cry at the Titanic. Do many of it have feelings? Oh no, the Pokemon broke free. Oh. <laughs> Choose one, be rich, read minds, invisibility, grunty boy hosts, ass pit of pie. <laughs> all right, all right, maybe I'll do something. Un compleano, Gabri. Happy birthday, Gabri. Young Goose, Zangoose, Goose, Young Goose, Zangoose, Mongooses, Mic Drop. Was this ever in doubt? Did you guys not know this? <laughs> Let me get this straight. Do you think Mega Charizard Y is cooler than Mega Charizard X? I do, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. That's a relatively common opinion. I remember when it was first announced, one of my very good friends said he much preferred Mega Charizard Y because he liked the sleek look, and he thought Mega Charizard X is mouth flames and like wing shape were weird. I used to like Mega Charizard X a lot more than Y, but now I I feel about them about the same. 
Oh, well, that's cool. That looks like what Arceus would turn into if this was Digimon. Oh, that's cool. This is cool art. Garrett Hanna is the artist. That is awesome. These are so cool. Blastoise, cool Gyarados. Haxorus is awesome. Oh, Heatran. Oh, made Heatran look a lot cooler. Tyranitar is dope. That's really cool. I think my favorite was Kabutops. Yeah, this is, this is my favorite. That's definitely my favorite. Metagross is my second favorite. When the one starter gets in Smash, gets a new form, gets in Pokin, and gets in Unite while the others get nothing. I mean, to be fair, Greninja was voted the most popular Pokemon of all time at one point in the past, while the other two are some of the least popular fully evolved starters of all of them. For the record though, Brakeson did get into Unite. Just wanna throw that out there. Or not Unite, excuse me, Pokin. Hatched after 69 eggs. <laughs> nice. If I could only choose four, I would choose Sceptile, Cast Form, Zeb Strika, and Gliscor. But all of them are very good. Pick two to protect you, the rest will defeat you. Uh, Metagross is an easy decision. Uh, it resists all the dragon attacks. And then I feel like Dragapult would be a good option because it's the fastest one and can like phase through walls and stuff. And so it could take out a lot of the other dragon types pretty easily. Volcarona offers you chalky milk. Do you accept? No, that chocolate milk has got to be boiling hot. Don't get me wrong, I like some hot chocolate, but that is not the same as hot chocolate milk. Well. Maybe it'd be okay. As long as it's not spoiled, I'd think about it. A lot of people keep bullying me because I love Decidueye. That's weird. <laughs> That's the like the most popular starter from Alola. <laughs> why would, Why are they doing that? Oh, oh, whoa, huh. This looks so wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. It'd be cool to be Spider-Man, but that was some uncanny valley stuff. <laughs> Everyone makes quality memes and aren't me. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, they do look like mouths. In Sinnoh, you catch Pokemon, and Mother Hisui Pokemon catch you. Ho -ho. I'm very excited to uh, barely escape with my life from a nursery. Pokemon HM's cut. <laughs> Why? Turf? Strength? Oh, and you can teach your Pokemon these moves by force feeding them CDs. For Pokemon 25, I did a big project where I drew every single Pokemon and every form, meaning I've drawn over 1,400 plus Pokemon. The work in progress. I suddenly finalized a few details, but I'm gonna add the new Pokemon from Hisui. Can you find them in the second pick? Ooh. Oh! Oh, I found regular Growlithe. Let's find a masculine. I'm doing a where's weird deer. This is a really cool piece of art. And I, <gasps> I found weird deer. It's right over here. I didn't find the other ones, but I found weird deer. Where's weird here? He's over here. <laughs> You get nubbed out, that's really cool. Ooh, some cute fan art of Hisui and Growlithe. I like that. Oh no! Oh no, that's so sad! Oh, I found another Saxolotl comic! Are you the champion? Yeah, I... Oh. Electric type, electric type bad, very bad. Me will come in front of... Make fun of me if I lose to a 10 year old lightning eagle's fate. Did fly, does guy, but I got with evil, 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 evil. Funny story, I can't tell you because I... I, I died last week, real tragic. <laughs> That's so sad. Tell your family I'm sorry for their loss. Yeah, will do. <laughs> All right, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Meme Review. Thank you guys so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big events. Gotta catch them all!